Hey everybody, this is BJ Ray 20. I got the SPL Labs wireless base meter, the third edition, in the kick. I'm gonna be metering and uh, clamping this amplifier. I'm gonna show you um, my electrical, everything, like I did in the previous videos, testing other amplifiers. We got two AutoTech Engineering 370 amp alternators with four runs of two watt welding cable from uh, the alternators to the back battery. Got my custom Vigeray uh, 20 on there. Have 135 amp hours of lithium. These are Honda Insight cells, uh, G3 cells. Have my two runs of power and my two runs of ground right over here, all the uh, two watt, as well as uh, the one watt um, down for sound, the D4S cable going straight to the amplifier that I'm testing right now. Got my custom Rick and Morty bus bars from uh, Coventry Industries. I have six custom Soundstream Triple X 15s with Pierce Audio Products soft parts. They're dual 1.4 ohm. They have four inch voice coils, eight layer, um, dual tensiles, and the uh, direct eight gauge Sky High Car Audio leads. Uh, this is a big enclosure that I built, tuned to 35 hertz with three 10 inch ports from Big Ass Ports. I built this enclosure myself. I'm still uh, still learning, st still getting things dialed in together, trying to figure out what my system can do. So the power that you're going to see is coming out of this amplifier here. And this is the, the Soundstream Tarantula the TXP-1. Dot 18,000D. This is the biggest amplifier in the Tarantula TXP series that that's available now. Um, I have that wired to 0.47 to all 6D subs, um, and I don't recommend it. It is one ohm stable. I'm um, just I got this in a trade, so it's not. It's it cost me money, but not as much as it is brand new. So I figured why not test it, see what it can do, see if it can hold up to the 0.47. Um, surprisingly, my Soundstream XXX 15000D, which is an old amplifier, which is also one ohm stable, uh, handled the 0.47 during this test. So I'm hoping this one does the same without uh, causing any issues. We're gonna find out now. I have the clamp meter on the positive lead and the, the leads on the positive and negative side of the terminals. Um, this is the unit going to the SPO labs meter. Excuse the mess. Everything is just, uh, like I said, it's not finalized yet. Um, this is the Tyramps MD12001 that I tested in my previous video. I got the windows and everything sealed up. Everything's gonna be sealed, except for the driver door will be open. Same as my previous test with the Soundstream Triple X, as well as this uh, Tyramps here. Um, I'm using the Soundstream VRCPAA106F head unit. I'm going to show you the settings, which is the same as my previous amp setting with uh, my Soundstream. Um, with the tar amps, it was at my subwoofer level was at plus five. Now it's back to zero. I'm still testing 80 hertz and the equalizer is all zeroed out. Um, and what I also found out about this amplifier, I was tuning it with the DD1, the SMD DD1 distortion detector, and the clip light on the amplifier of this Soundstream TXP 18000D is dead on. Um, every time I went up to clipping, the, the light on the unit came on as well as the amplifier. So it's tuned to no distortion to volume 48 my radio goes up to 50 but 48 is the max that I can play um, I haven't seen too many tests on this amplifier I've did a test before in the past at 1 ohm and I got over 4,000 watts out of it but I've never ran this amp this low I don't recommend it this is just testing purposes just to see uh, what happens I'm using my phone my old phone old LG Stylo 4 this is what I use for uh, my testing like this 
I used it in my previous videos. And so I want everything to be pretty much the same. And uh, just try to find out what this amplifier does compared to uh, the others. Hope you guys like what, the, what you see. Let's see what happens. At, uh, we're going to test 30 hertz first. And then we're going to do 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then 60 hertz will be the end. And let's see what happens. So at 30 hertz, got a 151.4 dB with 3,785.6 watts clamped. Going to reset the meter here. Now we're going to do 35 hertz. This amplifier sounds pretty good for what it is so far. I'm just hoping it lasts through this test. 35 hertz. Okay, so at 35 hertz, did a 154.6 dB in the kick with 4,019.8 watts clamped. So next, we're going to try 40 hertz. I'm going to reset the meter here. And let's see what happens with 40. Alright, so at 40 hertz, we got a 153.8 dB with 2715.5. So 2715.5 watts clamp at 40 hertz with a 153.8 dB. Pretty surprising. Um, I wish this amplifier was more accurately rated because it's doing some pretty nice output compared to what my uh, tar amps. MD 12,000.1 did a similar output, but the MD from Tar Amps did a lot more power to reach these uh, similar numbers. If you watch the previous video I have up, you'll see uh, what kind of numbers that amplifier did to, on my system. So, next we're going to try 45 hertz. So at 45 hertz, did a 153.1 dB with 3,481.9 watts clamped. All right. So next we're going to do 50 hertz. Going to reset the meter here. And let's see what 50 hertz does. So at 50 hertz, did a 153 even um, with 3,752 watts clamp. And this is all testing in the kick. Make sure the meter is still there. It still is. Still in the kick. I'm gonna go ahead and reset this. Now we're gonna try 55 hertz. Let's see how it goes. So at 55 hertz, did a 152.8 dB with 3,256.5 watts clamp. And last, to finish this video off, we're going to do 60 hertz. Alright, 60 hertz, did a 152.1 dB with 2581.6 watts clamp. 